Hey there, welcome back to Vitality Factors, the channel where we explore the key elements that make life truly fulfilling. Always remember, you're the creator of your own journey, so do it thoughtfully. Now, let's dive into today's topic and embrace the vitality that surrounds us. One step at a time, let's make every moment count. Let's get started. Vitamins, take this, take that, good for this, good for that, and we are quite familiar with them. Here, we just want to quickly go through them in general, so we're all on the same page for our upcoming videos where we'll delve into much more detail. Vitamins and minerals are essential micronutrients that our bodies need in small amounts to function properly. They play crucial roles in various physiological processes, including metabolism, immune function, and overall health by acting as cofactors, coenzymes, antioxidants, and regulators of gene expression. Before talking any further about vitamins, let's have a quick explanation of enzymes, cofactors, coenzymes, and antioxidants for now, and we will definitely discuss them in more detail later on in our upcoming videos. An enzyme is a biological molecule, typically a protein, that acts as a catalyst to facilitate and accelerate specific chemical reactions within living organisms. Enzymes are crucial for various physiological processes, and they play essential roles in maintaining the functions of cells, tissues, and organs. Enzymes are often named based on the type of reaction they catalyze, and their names usually end with the suffix ace. For example, lactase catalyzes the hydrolysis of lactose, and amylase catalyzes the breakdown of starch into sugars. Enzymes don't work in isolation. Most of them have support from coenzymes and cofactors to help them achieve their goals. A coenzyme is a non-protein organic molecule that works in conjunction with an enzyme to facilitate the enzyme's catalytic activity. Coenzymes are essential for the proper functioning of many enzymes involved in various biochemical reactions within the cells of living organisms. They often participate in the transfer of specific chemical groups, such as electrons or functional groups, between molecules during these reactions. In addition to coenzymes, vitamins can also function as cofactors. Cofactors are non-protein components, and they can be either inorganic, such as metal ions, or organic. Vitamins can provide the organic components needed for certain enzymes to function properly, such as vitamin K, which acts as a cofactor for enzymes involved in blood clotting. Some vitamins are also known as antioxidants. Antioxidants are substances that inhibit or neutralize the damaging effects of free radicals in the body. Free radicals are highly reactive molecules that can cause cellular damage by stealing electrons from other molecules, leading to oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is associated with various health problems, including inflammation and chronic diseases. One of the very well-known antioxidants is vitamin C, which is a water-soluble vitamin. And now is the time to say that vitamins are classified into two main groups based on their solubility in water or fat. Water-soluble vitamins like vitamin C and B vitamins dissolve in water and are not stored in the body to a significant extent. Any excess amounts are usually excreted in the urine. Therefore, it's important to consume water-soluble vitamins regularly through the diet. On the other hand, Fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin A and vitamin E dissolve in fat and are stored in the body's fatty tissues and liver. Because they can be stored, they do not need to be consumed as frequently as water-soluble vitamins. However, excessive intake of fat-soluble vitamins over a prolonged period can lead to toxicity, since they are not easily excreted. So far, we have covered some basic concepts about vitamins. We will discuss minerals later on, and as we progress, we will provide more specific information about each vitamin and mineral. Please let us know how you found this video, and if there are some related topics you would like to suggest, we can add them to our agenda. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when there is a new video published. Keep it simple, keep smiling, and until next time, take care.